Hey guys, Jack here. Uh, so today we just got news about the bunk beds for The Sims 4. Um, they have made this tweet um, with this image attached. Um, so, I mean, we obviously we've known this has been coming for uh, I think almost a month now. Whenever they announced kits, they announced uh, the bunk beds at the same time or got leaked or something. Um, and we got the silhouette of a bunk bed, but um, there's quite a few interesting things about this. So obviously uh, a lot of people have been pointing out already that the uh, two beds in this bunk bed are actually different, like different styles of bed that are already in the game. Um, like they're two completely different styles. There's nothing uh, new about the actual beds. It's the frame that's new. So does this bring up the question of, uh, are we getting like dedicated bunk bed objects with built in beds or are we getting like bunk bed frames that we can like slot our beds into like i don't know if that's going to work how if that's going to make any sense um if it is it's quite cool um it's just a I'm, I'm not overly excited for bunk beds as i know some people are so excited for them like i can't see myself really using that much um i might use them in things like in my let's plays or things like that um but i do think they're quite cool um there's nothing else really new in the um in the rest of the room there's like no new objects or anything um so it's kind of like i thought we were at least going to maybe get a, a, like a stuff pack or a game pack um we might do they might just be announcing that tomorrow they are doing a uh, stream at 10 a.m pacific time tomorrow on march 23rd um where we'll probably find out more information about um about that which is good but um bunk beds are kind of that main thing that they've shown off today which is really cool um obviously if you're gonna live in a tiny home it gives you so many uh, opportunities and things like that they said really really good idea but um they've also said that they're gonna have trait improvements so i don't really know what this is gonna give us like is this gonna give us uh like changes to the actual traits or like um are there gonna be traits you can't remove or like new traits or are they going to bring us like a story progression or something like are they going to give us something to really um give the, the game more life because i remember in the sims 3 when you could you have everyone had their lives and you could read the newspaper you'd find out who'd be having babies who'd be getting married and things like that um and they've taken that away in the sims 4 and they haven't brought it back and i think that was one of the key elements to like a good story uh being built in the game um, I do I do really miss it. I kind of hope it's something to do with that. Uh, if not, I just kind of hope the traits have more of an impact on The Sims' lives. Like, they're going to be more autonomous to actually act upon the stuff, like act upon their traits. So if they're athletic, they're actually going to make themselves go for a jog or make themselves to go to the gym, like just up and take themselves to the gym. Like, um, with some of the new features they brought in recently, where they, uh, the life starts, for example. Like, if you get, if you get the workaholic trait, um, the Sims just up and take themselves to work for no reason. Like it's all their day off, they'll just take themselves to work to go get work done. I think that's a really good idea. And I think if they bring stuff like that in, um, or be, be able to control your Sims when they're off the lot, um, something like that, just something to give you more input to the game. Because at the moment it's kind of just like every Sim's exactly the same. Uh, no matter what they look like, they all, all feel the same, they all act the same. Um, it might just be they might get a little bit uncomfortable or tense about certain things, um, especially with dust. <laughs> As long as they fix dust and get rid of this horrible tenseness that stays with your sims for like weeks because you've got a little bit of dust that you can't get rid of because it keeps coming back. Um, <laughs> that's all I care about. Um, but yeah. Um, and then for you console players, there's been the uh, improved console textures they're going to go over. Um, which I think is really great for your gu you guys. I don't actually know what it's like to play on console. I don't know if they actually need updating on consoles. But nonetheless, that's, that's good news. But um let me know down below what you think. Uh, is there anything you think they should really bring or things they should be focusing on instead of this stuff? Like, if you're not impressed by any of this stuff, let me know what you think they should be focusing on. Um, again, you know, have a little discussion. Like, you know, um, we all know The Sims could do better, but we'll see, won't we? <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, thank you, guys. See you later. Bye. Oh,